Hello and welcome. So, uh, there is a new update for the game Warlords, so, and there is a tutorial, so I decided let's play the tutorial, record it and see how it goes. So, uh, let's see. Tutorial, basic camera and control. Hmm, I want the more, so, okay. Let's see. Select. Okay, I have, uh, I'm level 20 something, so, let's see how this goes. First squadron, 11th armor cavalry. Before okay. we begin, let's take a moment to get used to the camera okay, controls. controls. Move the camera to the objective marker. Find your unit and left click to select it. There's also no use that, okay, so okay. 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 Camera on vertical, okay. With control, we move like this. Zoom in, zoom out, okay. Hold the mouse wheel and move the mouse left to right to rotate the camera. Okay, this is to rotate. Okay, we can also use AED kills by holding control. AED this. Oh, this is the same. Control AED does the same thing. It's uh, middle and the wheel button. So, we select. Order, sir. Okay. This is Saber 6. Actual comm check complete. Over. Hearing you loud and clear, sir. War is about to kick off, and we suffer a flat tire. Okay, they suffer a flat Our tire. Our escort back to the staging area is waiting nearby, sir. Okay. You have selected your first unit. Let's check out the unit's information panel. The Sweet. left part of the panel displays general information about the unit. Okay. The central part is dedicated to the unit's rules of engagement. <coughs> this a is concept rules of engagement. that will be covered in a later tutorial. Okay. The right part of the panel is dedicated to the unit's weapon loadout. The loadout. Okay. Clicking on the name of the unit will open an even more detailed unit panel. You can also access it by pressing the I key. Okay. An escort is waiting. Move the command unit by right-clicking near the friendly troop transport. So here is the information. Move the unit, which is the destination. Okay. Go ahead and watch out for the commies. I think if we don't move fast, Push the envelope, if we go to the road and then. MPs might okay. not win the MPs war, win. but some force protection is better than nothing. Okay. Your new unit's military police squad, drafted by Unarmored Chief. Here's the main label that displays several details. In the center, the icon of the unit, which uses either RTS or NATO symbols. Okay. At the top left, if any additional unit is carried, the icon of the transported unit is displayed. So if there is an icon here, there is a transported unit inside. Okay. On the right, the unit's this experience. Is the unit experience. Here, the two chevrons mean that the unit is veteran. Veteran is two chevrons. Price range. Here, that means the transport vehicle is of low price. Okay. And finally, the name of the transported unit. So we're transporting military police. Okay. All right. Our staging area is further up the road. No time to waste, sir. You can find the orders menu on the right-hand side of the interface. Hover your cursor above each option to find out what they do. So. Move order at the station on the map to order so I can move the straight as straight as possible line. The traveling off road to reduce the speed of the map. Move fast in the road network and avoid terrain to travel faster. The use of roads allows vehicle to reach significantly higher speeds. So yes, sir. we need to take this guy. Let's put move fast here. Welcome. Okay. So we press move fast goes with the road. If you press like this, it Go will try there. to find a straight line, which it might be slower. So, Go in there. fast. Oh, I need both units. Okay, my bad. My bad. Move and open your eyes. I should read. Let's see the details. 
Spain to six. It's a half minute. Uh, good time too. We made it. Now let's figure out what the hell is happening and get the troops to Redcon One. Over and out. Okay. So we did the first tutorial. Okay. Let's do another one. A recon. First cut platoon. Thursday, 1989. Okay, Easter. Okay. We are almost there, sir. The road to free the wall. There is a lot of stalking in the woods. Ivan is surely waiting in ambush. We know about the presence of scattered units from the 39th Guards Motor Rifle Division in the area, so we got to scout the roads ahead and find a safe path. It's funny how they use the name Ivan. Continue, it's like the typical. Let's look at how vision works through the line of sight Russian system. Name. Pressing C or clicking the button displays a circle-like shape around the currently selected unit. Okay. The circle represents the field of vision of the currently selected unit. As you can see, some areas are not visible, while others are So the are areas clear. in grey are not visible, the clear are visible. I think it's obvious. Buildings, for instance, are obstacles that entirely block your unit's view. So the buildings block the view, okay. On the contrary, small tree lines do not block vision. Small tree lines like this one here, this one here, and this one, they do not block vision. Big tree lines like this one, you see, it blocks. So my unit is here. Sight lines are blocked by dense forests. However, okay. the edges can still be seen through. Edges seen. If you have a unit in the edges, it will see. Okay. In order to detect an enemy unit, it must be within your unit's field of vision. But that's not all. Detection also depends on the enemy's ability to hide, and of the stealth bonus granted by the terrain it's on. It's easier to detect an enemy standing in an open field than it is to detect the same unit hidden in a forest. Likewise, it's also easier to detect a tank than it is to detect a small infantry section. Okay, All of these factors stopped. determine how close a unit must be to another in order to detect it. The detection display tool can show you the detection ranges of your unit depending on various stealth and camouflage settings. Detection ranges are represented as colored circles around your selected unit. Use your recon units to find a safe path to Friedwald. Okay. Take ready. Clear the count. It was Friedwald. bad form to arrive too early. I hear you loud and clear. Moving at full speed. I expect some unit to have here to be here. So. Red six. So the idea is, let's stop them. So this is the field of view now. Let me see the setting. I forget where it is now. Oops. Okay, it's here. Hidden in forest path. So if the unit has a, is hidden in forest, we can see it at 1,000 meters. If it has mediocre, we can see it at one. 1200, that was what? Oh, 1800. Okay, let's do all. Let's do all. So, the idea is if the unit has exceptional stealth and it's hidden, I think this were hidden in the forest, we can see it's, we need to get really close, like 72 meters, 720 meters. In open ground, because the, there is no cover, we can see much further away. Okay? I will do it in a stupid way. Full throttle. But yes, I'm yeah. expecting some unit to be there, so I will need to go around. But maybe I will fail the tutorial. Sir, I've been spotted. Enemy T-62 Oops. in sight. I bet they're not alone. Facing them with Humvees is out of the question. Let's find another way. So, this is what I expected. So his line of sight is like this. 
Probably I will see it again. No? I hear you loud and clear. Tutorial is not bad. These are things that sometimes I forget. We reached the road to Frida Wall. The rest of the company may approach. Okay. Good work, Commander. You found a safe path to Friedwald. Make your way to the town. Okay. Nice. So I will stop this uh, this recording here, and I will do the next tutorials for a different 